Facebook users freely post all kinds of comments, and today the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to decide when those comments cross the line from free speech protected by the Constitution to something criminal. Here's John Blackstone. The Facebook rants Anthony Alonis posted about his ex-wife included, I'm not going to rest until your body is a mess, soaked in blood and dying from all the little cuts. Another said, enough elementary schools in a 10-mile radius to initiate the most heinous school shooting ever imagined. A Pennsylvania jury found Alonis guilty of making threats and sentenced him to almost four years in prison. He argued that he was simply exercising his right to free speech and had no intention of actually harming anyone. At what point are you accountable for what you say online? Hani Fakuri is an attorney with the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which defends the First Amendment online. We would be able to stop all sorts of crime if we just arrested people based on what they thought and what they said without waiting for them to act out and carry that out. Is the line actually acting on the threats? I would say the line is taking a step towards acting out on the threat. It could be purchasing the weapon. It could be scoping out the school. Increasingly, criminals seem to be signaling their intent online. Amanda and Jared Miller, who killed two police officers in Las Vegas earlier this month, posted extensive uh, anti-government rants on Facebook summer. and YouTube. Honoring the First Amendment has become more complex than it once was. Absolutely. Technology is changing faster than the law. It's changing faster than maybe people can, you know, understand how to deal with it. Forty-five years ago, the Supreme Court ruled that making a threatening statement was not a crime unless it was what the court called a true threat with some intent to follow through. Now the, now the court will be considering, Jeff, whether the threat online and when a threat online crosses the line to become criminal. John Blackstone in San Francisco, thank you.